body, yeah, that's my Maserati going ham. No salami, that's your chick. If I like it, then I'm straight. Both garden in a club. What's going on guys, Mr. Clasher here. Welcome back to a brand new Reels All Survival video. Now in today's video, guys, I have another Easter egg to actually show you guys. This is actually really, really cool. Now, Reels of Survival, you guys know, sometimes they add things here and there that maybe people have not noticed. And one of the things I noticed really that it's not really that big of a deal and it's really hard to actually see, but sometimes when you go to the gas station, you can see, I believe it says Ned Ease or Ned gas or something like that along those lines there's a little um, writing against one of the gas stations or one of the pumps which is really really cool and I love when games actually do that so in the recent I think it's been in the I don't know if it was last week's update or a couple weeks ago but they did add something really really cool and right now I'm actually reading a little bit about it not right now obviously but I am just kind of you know seeing it just a little bit of the details that are right there that I have for this Easter egg now, when I was actually, okay, let me actually backtrack a little bit. So I was actually playing a regular match and it was just your typical match. Like nobody told me about this, nobody. I actually figured out myself, which I'll get to later. It was actually super weird, but super funny at the same time. Yet maybe it was a coincidence. I have no idea, but basically guys, I just hopped on to a game and I was just kind of like playing like a regular match, you know, nothing special. I was just I don't know if I was on fire team or squad or even solo. I'm not exactly sure, but I pretty much just was playing like a regular match. I don't know, again, if it was fire team, but um, I actually picked up a scope and I was just running across the map. I think I came, a, I think there's a couple different locations you can actually find this. One of them is definitely Bitter Lake. I don't know about the other place, but it's, I think there's more than one specific location for this Easter egg. Now, some of you guys might have already, you know, already know what I'm talking about. Maybe later on in the video, you guys might know what I'm talking about. Or you might, you know, you guys maybe already freaking know what I'm doing. You know, I don't know. Some of you guys know because obviously I do a video and sometimes when people play with me, I kind of give a little bit of a hint of what I'm doing. And overall, I'm just looking at the thumbnail right now. It's actually super sick. Now, this is one of those things that the developers do. Now, one of the things I actually don't like is you guys... So I, I think a couple of videos ago that they what they added in the game basically that Mr. Tweet now I know this company's a Chinese company and all that but you do not have to bring politics into the game it's one of those things that you just don't add to the game I mean that could honestly hurt the game more than it can actually help so I understand it's a Chinese company I believe I believe it's Chinese if I'm not mistaken and you know they make their game, you know, it's their decisions and whatnot, but people that have different political views might not, not, uh, oh, I said not twice, might not like what they added to the game. So just be aware of that, guys. If you guys are into politics, you guys know what I'm talking about, the new mask they added in the game. But that's one of those things that, you know, you gotta be careful as a game developer, at least if I was making a game and I added that and the game was very huge, adding something political, even if it's a cross, you know, maybe, you know, if it was me doing something about, you know, China politically, you know, it would be kind of weird. Um, and it could hurt the game if I was a developer, but I'm not bashing that ease. I'm just saying like, I, I don't know why they did that exactly. Maybe it was just a joke and it's still pretty expensive to buy that. So I don't know. Uh, nonetheless, guys, you know, game developers, whether it's like, you know, console games, mobile games, um, sometimes game developers add things to the game that many you know sometimes people don't know or a lot of players sometimes don't even know until that one person freaking finds it and then you know it goes viral on youtube um it happens sometimes uh, sometimes it can be small big it can be underneath the map it could be in so many different locations it can be like at a gas station underneath a car it could be just a little logo of writing like literally guys you know net is actually smart for doing that and uh, there's other games like Call of Duty does that, I'm sure. Um, I don't know about Battlefield. I haven't played console games in a long time, but I'm sure there's other games that have pretty much messages. And this is actually a pretty good marketing strategy as well. See, um, let's say if I was a developer and I was actually doing this and I came out with a new product, oh my goodness, I would display it somewhere in the game that is pretty obvious to see. And again, I was just in the game and the only way I actually saw this, I believe I either had a two times or a four times scope. I want to say it was a two times, but it might have been a four times scope. And I just zoomed in and I was like, 
Well, hold up a second. Now, I don't think you can see... I don't remember if you can see clearly without the scope, but with the scope, you can definitely see. Without the scope, I think it might be blurry. I'm not exactly sure, but um, it's one of those funny things that Netty's added. It's just, I don't know. I thought it's, you know, it's a good, you know, marketing tool. I'm not going to bash them. I mean, it's really smart. I mean, a lot of millions of people play this game. So using this game as a little bit of a, you know, it's not like they're advertising their new product, but it is like throwing it, you know, like, Hey guys, you know, we do have a new product. So if you play this game, check out this new product we got. Uh, now, I think you need a scope. I don't know if you can see it without a scope. I think you have to zoom in from at least maybe it's just me. I don't know. I'm, I just saw this a couple of times. I don't usually go to that specific location of where this item is. But this item, guys, is the brand new phone that they launched. Now, this company's actually, I've seen this because I actually work at Walmart. I'm a full-time electronic associate or tech associate. And I know this name because we actually sell laptops by this company. Now this company is named, actually I have, look at this guys, I have two different freaking phones. I don't know. Yeah, I have two different phones, iPhone X, iPhone 6S. I'm pretty much looking at the thumbnail while looking at the description. So yeah, I got two phones, kind of a little crazy. But um, as you can see, it's called, uh, again, uh, this is a Chinese name. I'm gonna, uh, there's no, I'm gonna pronounce it correctly, but it's called the Huawei. Nova Nova 3i basically it's a brand new phone as you guys can see I don't know if it's gonna zoom out probably throw a screenshot or something unless unless this actually can auto yo there we go auto zoom is working today that way Nova 3 I don't know how every pronounce it actually I really don't know it's Chinese name and I'm not gonna try to pronounce that you know this name for the whole video that'd be ridiculous but basically guys this is a brand new phone and right now my other phone I'm actually looking at the specs so it runs on Android 8.1, is powered by 3340 mAh. It measures at 157.60 times 75.20 times 7.60, height times width times thickness, and weighs about 169 grams. Now, if I actually, does it tell you the spec? Oh yeah, that's tell you the specs. It's a 6.3 inch display, octa-core 24 megapixel camera. Whoa, 1080 by 2340 pixels. That is actually kind of weird. Four gigabytes of RAM. It's got an operating system, Android 8.1, storage 128 gigabytes. Um, it's a rear, uh, that's the backward camera, that was 24 megapixels. And then the rear one is actually 16 megapixels. Battery capacity is 3,340, like I explained. Ju I believe it was released, but from what I'm reading, it was released in July. But from what I'm reading, it says the Nova 3 i smartphone was launched in July in 2018. And excuse me, and I thought there's gonna be a different uh, color coming out, but uh, there's it says price in India. It's kind of hard to find the price um, online, but in India, it's actually quite a pretty expensive phone. Um, it looks similar to what like the, I mean, if you guys can see, I don't know if it's gonna zoom in or not, but it looks like a tad bit of, uh, come on camera, zoom in please. It looks like a bit of a iPhone X type of look. Yeah, it's probably not gonna zoom in. Uh, but if you guys look up this phone called Hua, ah, gosh, I can't pronounce this name, the Huawei Nova 3i, it's a pretty interesting phone. I'm sure it, no, it is expensive. It's not, I'm not sure. It is expensive. It looks like similar to like a Google Pixel slash iPhone type of mix. I mean, uh, we do carry laptops where I work by the same company and actually their laptop that I was looking at, even though I'm an Apple guy, I saw one of their laptops. I was like, holy crap. It actually was a really good deal had a pretty good graphics card or chip. Um, I know, I believe it was a, I think it was a dedicated graphics card inside that laptop. Now it was around like seven, $800 price range, I think, but still it was a pretty solid laptop I looked at. I don't remember the name, but we do have that uh, company at our Walmart. We sell that brand. So it's really interesting that they actually added that in the game. I think it's really cool for them to do that. I think it's a good advertising tool. I must have, you know, probably did boost their sales quite a bit. I'm sure. I mean, millions of people played this game. And heck, if I was looking for a new phone and I lived, whether I was in Philippines, China, anywhere, and I saw that phone, and I was familiar with the brand. It's like basically like, you know, if Apple was advertising their iPhone X on that thing, I'd be like, whoa, that looks like a pretty cool phone. I mean, I already have an iPhone X and this little iPhone 6S that I use just for backup and whatnot. But um, anyway, that phone is actually looks pretty cool. So anyway, in the comment section below, tell me what you guys think about this new kind of a little bit of an Easter egg. Some of you guys already, probably most of you guys have known about this. Some of you guys probably have not seen this. 
Um, you do need to, I think, scope in. I'm not exactly sure if that's true, but every time I scope in, I can see it. And if I don't scope out, I really don't see it. So maybe it's just me. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you guys did, go ahead, leave a like. That would really mean a ton. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure to click the subscribe button for daily content. And as always, I'll see you all on my next video.